Hello, and welcome back to Obscura Undead. Uh, this is your music recommendation um, for the end of the week. Uh, I'm Mouse. And I'm Ian. And we have a new recommendation for you today by Male Tears. Uh, their new album called Trauma Club. What a great name. Indeed. And I would say, uh, you know, we, we recently reviewed their first album, but the sequel, Trauma Club? Wow. <gasps> what a follow-up. It, it is a wow. Oh my goodness. So um, one of the things we had mentioned about um, Male Tears is it's uh, um, like a almost goth wave, right? It's I would got say definitely, yeah. Dark wave mixed with new wave. And, and a and pop experimenting, flirting with themes of morbidity, Ooh, yes. sexuality, and self-destruction. I am here for it. Sign oh me up. <laughs> and uh, Male Tears is from LA, right? They are LA based. They totally uh, take on that whole new wave LA vibe um, and bring it to the 2020s. And who's in the band? The band is James Edwards and Frank Shark. Frank Shark. All right. Frank. Awesome. And we know James. Um, James has been, uh, we've seen him on Twitch, we've seen him on YouTube, um, always commenting and being a sweetheart. Yep. And so we're super excited to get our hands on this. Um, this is what a seven, eight track album, seven track album. We got seven seven track tracks. Album. two songs have already been released as singles, which we did talk about in, um, the last review that we did with Azzy, uh, the two new. Yes. Like, you love the track model citizen and I love the track hit me. And I love the, I, oh, yeah. I mean, I think if I were to choose one over the other, I'm more Model Citizen, but I love both tracks. I think I think Model Citizen kind of fits your personality as well. Yeah, like Mo you're... Model Citizen, which kind of goes with this entire album overall. The, the overall feel of this album is much darker than their first, their debut release album. Um, definitely uh, heavier notes, darker notes, uh, and darker sounding, but it's still fun and poppy. I think um, it, it alternates though. So instead of like a continuous sound that's both new wave and dark wave, it's almost like it alternates. So like the song Trauma Club is very dark, dark wave, you know, with those moody vocals right. and everything. But then Cry Forever, I love oh my Cry God, Forever. that, that song's so amazing. Right. Um, it's just, it's new wave as fuck. Yep. And I just want to like, I j it just sounds like a, like a seven inch single. And I just want to dance all night long in an LA nightclub yep. uh, at 21. But everything I, has to be covered in neon and yes, black light. Uh, and, with a shirt that like hangs off the shoulder. Yeah, you mouse, you'd have to have the big, like the the big like fountain hair, you know, like the big ponytail to the side. Not if I'm wearing the giant slanted hat. Ooh, oh, you need the giant fedora, yeah. I don't want a fedora, but it's like, it's gotta be big. A hat, right, but it has to have the veil in front. Like oh my God, yes. Face. yes, 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 yes. But anyway, this, and like just- Satin gloves and- You can see it, you can see yeah, it. When you, you listen to this album, well. you're just like, you're just like, fashion. <laughs> but it's it's just dripping with like 1980, did we say two, 1980? No. I think we said like anywhere between four. like 82 and 84. He's 84, okay. Yeah. So so yeah, Male Tears is 84. Uh, and Cry Forever is six minutes long. It's the second track but you can't even tell. No, I liked it. I was like, I, I didn't even realize it had gone to six minutes. And no. Like, oh, fun. And no. his vocals don't even pick into the song until almost halfway through the track. I loved that though. I loved it because you're like, where is this going? What is happening? Can I just keep dancing? Yeah. And it, it keeps you immersed the whole time. I liked it. Um, I liked No Reflection. It's no very, Reflection was yeah. also very long. It was uh, seven minutes, almost, almost seven minutes long. I thought at first that it was a little too long, but then when I listened again, I just kept imagining that it was like maybe one of those um, like record singles where mm -hmm. it just keeps going and you just keep dancing. Yep. And I think that's the song that mentions the dance floor, red lights um, and black lips. Oh, just see, I yeah, Dracula stares back. So he's it's a black whole band, lips and red I'm lights. Like, Dracula uh, stares back. Why I like this song, No Reflection. It's a vampire song. Oh, No Reflection. Oh, 
Genius. Genius. Love it. I can't remember which one was singing about the dance floor, but I was just like, it, it's so like visually appealing too. Like you can just see it in your mind. And I think that's a really cool thing for a band to be able to accomplish. Uh, Hit Me, as usual, still my favorite track. It's going in my top 10 singles of the year. Hit Me. Like, truly is. I like, I like Model Citizen, I do. Thank you, Ian. I know that's like near your heart, but for me, it's gotta be Hit Me. I mean, like the lyrics, all the black lipstick people dance. I almost wore black lipstick for tonight, but it didn't. Yeah. Like. Um, I, yeah. <laughs> 2 a.m. The last track is uh, like an instrumental. Um, it's fine. It's really about the other six songs. And then two of those were singles you know already. Think of it this way. 2 a.m. is when you leave the club and you don't really want to hear music much anymore. And you just have this playing on in the car as you're like trying to drive to Denny's or. Nah, uh, it should have been called 4 a.m. True. But it depends where you live. Oh, unless it is about. Well, there's no lyrics, but it could be about. 2 a.m. It's the last couple of hours of the club, and it's your last chance. Yep. To get that person you're after, or pick up that um, taco at the taco stand, or find Burn. your lost cell phone. It time's running out. Maybe that's. And all these things have happened to all of us, or most of us. I know it's happened to you and maybe me. It's, maybe it time. all just happened to me. But anyway, make sure to go pick this up. Um, they're on Starfield Music. Yes, a Canadian-based record label that I was not familiar with until um, until Nail Tears. And, uh, I will be interviewing James oh, from Scare really? Undead. Oh, uh, really? Hopefully, Frank Shark will be there as well. But um, we're gonna get a get to chat and talk about all sorts of stuff. And I'm oh my ready. gosh, that sounds amazing. So, but I love the um, just the. The, the visual idea of 1984 Los Angeles club club life I'm that sold. they put into my head. It, it gives me some I'm amazing sold. memories and just a, a great little EP to, to listen to. Sold. I'm there. Let's right. go. Let's do it. Let's That's all we got here. for you today. Um, let me give uh, uh, let me give a um, inspir- I don't know if it's inspirational or whatever, but pick a room in your house that brings you happiness and clean it clean it from top to bottom it will make you even happier once you sit in it and Marie uh condo the shit out of it yeah yeah exactly yeah so that's my that's my I saying of the, that. of the evening god now i need thank you mouse you're welcome thanks you're welcome. I need that. all right we'll see you next all time right. bye bye, bye.